All right, hello everyone, and welcome to something new for the channel, a first hour impressions of a game that was released on Nintendo Switch just today. Uh, uh, I forgot what the game's called, actually. Shinsekai Depths of the Deep, I believe it's called? Anyway, uh, I saw it in the mini-direct that came out today, and it looked very interesting, so I thought, hey, why not? Let's play it, and let me give my... Oh, Shinsekai Into the Depths. That makes more sense, actually. Uh, but it looked pretty cool. It almost seemed like a underwater Metroidvania game in this way. So, I wanted to give a first hour's impression, and if I like it enough, maybe full-blown game, full-blown review, who knows. So, let's just check for all these... Okay, nothing too special. And we'll just do standard. This mode offers a challenge as you explore the world of Shinsekai. Achievements can be completed on any difficulty setting. Oh, you know what? I hate games where, like, you can only play on a certain difficulty to get achievements. Like, um, Paradox games are... Uh, I don't like when Paradox does it. Uh, but that's the side note. Okay then, I guess we're running. Oh yeah, another thing about this game is um, it gave me press B one. So oh, am I picking stuff up or something? Uh, while off ground, while off the ground, L oh no, L up while off the ground will activate your suit thrusters. Use them to move freely through the water. But be careful as they consume a lot of. Okay, I probably did that wrong. Oh, that hurt. Another thing, anyway. Um, this game gave me like kind of like uh, your suit can only take so much pressure. Go too deep and you'll damage it. Red water indicates your suit's maximum depth. Okay. Uh. But anyway, as I was saying, this game gave me kind of like almost like 2D Subnautica vibes, which would be pretty interesting. Picking up canisters will increase your maximum capacity. I oh, will just call it air. 
These will take damage in place of your suit, but take too much and they will break. And what was jump again? Okay. Whoa, okay, we get a double jump as well, I guess. Come on, keep on climbing. And is this a store? No. Oh, we get treasure. You can use air in a jar to replenish some air. You can craft more plants and bubbles. Go to the items tab in the game menu to craft or use air in the jar, I guess. Uh, map, weapons, items. Replenish a small amount of air, and I use... Okay, well, I can't tell if it's saying I have four air bubbles and two plants, or if it's saying it the other way around. Because, like, it's... It's not displaying it in a, in a satisfying way. Okay. I'm trying to see what... Okay. So I... Let's see. Towards a wall, grab... And hold and climb. You deplete as you climb. Okay. But you know, um, seeing all this ice expanding gives me um, Silent Hill Shattered Memory vibes. Your shoe will gradually freeze over while in contact with ice. When your shoe is completely covered, it will take damage. Sliding on ice will break the frost off. Okay, how do I slide? Why to swing your gaff to attack? Um, there we go. So far, it has some good feels to it. Has anyone ever actually played um, um, Silent Hill Shattered Memory? Because that was a game that was... It was released for the Wii, and I think it got re-released on the PS2. But it's like, main intent was really to be a Wii game, because it involved motion controls. It was basically a... Um, re... 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 Uh, hold on. Discovered buried objects by shining your lamp on them. Press ZL to switch your lamp on and off. Or am I holding? Okay. You just collected. Blur. Use it to make ammo for your weapon. You can craft weaponry in the game menu. Fires multiple harpoons in a spread pattern. Okay, so it's. I, I hate when they games display it that way because it's that fraction means it's two out of four, but it should be reversed and saying I have four and I need two. It always bothers me when games display it like that. Press R to enter firing mode and take aim and press ZR to fire your weapon. Okay, hold on. I want to see something. Hey, that's cool. Okay, is there anything in this way? No, okay. So we're actually supposed to go up here.
And looks like we got another backup air canister. You can shape your progress with buoy. When activated, the shape screen will open and damage to your shoe will be repaired. Okay then. And what is the attack button again? X? No, Y, okay. Is it trying to shoot me? Turn back, turn back. Uh, I should probably get off of that. If you take damage, you shoot and be cracked. If you take two... There we go. Okay. I can't really shoot downwards. Oh, never mind. I cut you off. Oh,
I will say, I do like the um, art direction of the game so far. It looks pretty good. The lamp makes some weird, like, ish shading issues, but I mean, I think it's probably just saying, like, the light's being obscured. But anyway. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay, I understood none of that really. Good. You can now use minerals to upgrade your suit. It's possible to upgrade a variety of different parts in the game menu. Okay, well let me see if I have discoveries, upgrades, okay. So I can increase my pressure resistance. I can increase climbing speed. No, okay, it says at the bottom here where my resources are. Oh, those are minerals, okay. Oops, didn't mean that. Okay. No. Come on, there we go. Increase my carrying capacity. Increase burst fire by two. Or I can increase my depth. But I guess I don't have anything on me? Okay. I guess. I can't tell. And it's just gonna show me the... Okay, that's the slideshow again. Okay. Standing, press L down plus Y to investigate your surroundings. Something to detect that an icon will be displayed on your map. Oh, it's like a sonar pink. Yeah. Indicates buried material minerals, which can be used to upgrade your suit. Gather enough, and you can use an upgrades tab allowing you to progress deeper than before. Here we go. Okay, it's just a whole day. That's worse. 3.7 grams worth of it. Okay, okay. I got a good feeling about this. Then, okay, so did I get enough for an upgrade though? No, I need 10 total. Okay, okay. I couldn't understand, like, how it was displaying itself at first. Oh, okay, it's just a bit but It's like an ammo store of sorts. And it seems like there's some more minerals up here. Excavate. Okay, and we got some more minerals there. the yellow bar was supposed to indicate it. Uh, 
Come on, get out, get out, get out, get out. Okay. Okay. That was closer than it needed to be. Oh, wait, I thought I killed you. Or were there two? They say talk about like you get minerals from excavating, but like I got other stuff. Unless I missed something, which is also a very likely scenario as well. Okay, now this has to be minerals or else we're got like a dead game on our hand. Oh, uh, is that enough actually? Oh, yeah, it's enough. Let us upgrade. Oh, okay, and they that's how you visually show it. Whoa, we unlocked a lot of depth actually. That's pretty cool. Okay, well I'm guessing that's where the plot is, so we're gonna turn around instead. Because there are some other areas as you remember seeing, so I wanna see if we can explore some more now that I got some more depth available to me. Okay. Okay, yeah, it seems like this is like an infinite ammo depot or something. So yeah, I should definitely keep in mind where these are at, so that way I can like really liberally use the ammo. Oh, right, I gotta hold it. Okay, now I think there was something else back here that required more depth as well. Repairs at all. Okay, so we have a max of five. I know it said it earlier, but I just kind of got that now, actually. Wait, hold on. Let me just make sure there's no, like, anything else. Anything else? No, okay. And it seems like you could, like, double tap B to, like, get kind of like a burst of air. There we go. I think there are also, um, if I remember the trailer correctly from the mini direct, um, there are also boss, I guess, boss fights for the game. So that'd be pretty interesting to see how they are interpreted. Or not interpreted, but done. Well, I guess interpreted is also a great word. But speaking of. Oh, they're back. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't think it's really necessary for me to fight them again. But speaking of that, it's, you know, it seemed like pretty much everyone was surprised, like, oh man, there's a direct going on today? I guess with, um,. All that's going on. There's not really. This is really kind of like a dark time to be a leaker. And he can beat tutorials. Okay, good. Oh, we were just here, actually. I kind of recognize where we just were. Oh, but were there other areas we couldn't. Uh, is there a way I could view the map? Okay, good, good, good. Can I see more? Okay, well, I think the yellow means that, like, it's covered in ice, so I can't do anything with it anymore. And it seems like we covered everything else. So, yeah, I think we're good to head down there. Press B while off the ground to perform a thruster burst. This is more than a regular burst. Yeah, I, okay, so I've used those before. So, we're feeling air. 
and then come over here. And are these more minerals as well? Let's see, upgrades. No, I, hmm. Then in that case, I don't know what those were. Yeah, it'll probably be more relevant later. It's also nice that they mark air bubbles on your map as well. Very convenient. though, what this encroaching ice is all about. I'm guessing we know where to go now. Oh, yeah, there we go. Well, you see, now I wonder, um, if this game is going to be kind of like taking kind of like the Metroid approach to things, especially Metroid Fusion, where they kind of like tell their story through actions instead of words. Indicates the location you should attempt to reach as well as the distance. So we're 115... I don't know. Away. So it seems like it's saying something about a dive balloon, maybe? And... Multiplayer? Or no. Oh no, this is probably like stories of like the past or something. Like, these are like previous divers, like our friends or something. Or family. Or just... People we are forced to get along with. Yep, why? Okay. Okay, that was close. If your lamp makes something sparkle, take a closer look. Sometimes you can open new paths by striking the environment. Well, we don't need that yet, so we're gonna just leave it in case we can come back for it. If you have a cassette tape, you can create a restore point. Okay. Okay, here we go, we got some stuff up here. Here we go, actually. I can then hit this, and then we'll keep on going up here. Oh, and here we go. We got a cass cassette tape, or whatever it's called. Ooh, and supplies. Nice. Oh, wait, were those? Okay, were those metal? No, I keep on pressing. I... <clears throat> no, okay. I'm gonna just stop asking, because I'm really not gonna get the answer just yet. Oh, gosh! You... Man, you're frail. Good thing I got that cassette tape, I guess. But it's still like all sparkling and stuff, so I still don't fully understand how the health bar of your canisters work, I guess. Food for thought for later, I suppose. Okay, I think we're gonna need to break our way into that, maybe. And it looks like another cassette tape, maybe? Eee. Okay, I kind of freaked out a little bit, but... Get, come on, come on! There we go. Oh, you kind of get some erratic movement at times. Okay. What 
us try to get whatever's right here. Oh wait, hold on a second. I think I saw something. So if you and then you hold B. Okay, yeah, you can kind of like launch yourself in a specific direction. Okay, that's cool. L to open your pouch. Press a button to use the corresponding item. You can use the hammer to repair your suit and your canisters. You can craft more with mineral, well, not minerals, but rocks and bubbles. Okay, so it's a suit repair thing. Uh, sure, I guess we can look at it. Okay, and that is what how you can remove the cracks. Okay. And, oh yeah, let's also see how much does it take to make more of those. Okay, not too pricey. So far, I'm liking the game quite a bit. Music's pretty good as well. Can why can't I? Why can't I pick? Hold on. Pick it up. Pick. Why can't I? Am I like full on inventory? Hmm. up all of a sudden. It's so weird. Oh, and not uh, much. I suppose. Okay. If we 
keep on going. It seems like there's something else back here. Upgrade your suit or item bag. Okay. <laughs> okay, looks like we're gonna be trapped here for a while then, which is... Oh gosh, not good at all, not good at all. Oh. Let's see, climbing speed, ice, and other damage sources reduces... Oh, this seems like a good priority to go for, perhaps. Oh gosh. We may be in danger now. Okay, never mind. We got a save point. It's all good. I was actually legit worried there for a moment. Okay. And... How do you use hammers again? Okay, here we go. Let us use a hammer to repair that. And then we're going to make one of those. Okay. And we'll make one of... Yeah, we'll just have, like, an extra one on hand just to be on the safe side. And to get to the next depth, we need 15 total. Okay. Okay, I think I saw the error in my ways. Like, it wasn't producing enough bubbles, it's, I think, to, uh, oh. It wasn't, like, producing a lot of, it was only producing a few bubbles, so I think that's where my error was. I, sh I need to look for where, um, the map actually registers it as, um, as a bubble spot. To a wall, input L quickly in the opposite direction. Yeah, okay, yeah, so that I, I explained that earlier. Now I'm be able to achieve new depths now. Okay. Whew! Kind of caught me off guard there. So far, the game is giving good, um, reward satisfaction, in my opinion. Like, I'm definitely feeling well rewarded thus far for my exploration. Oh, wait, let's save, let's save first. And restore my air while I'm at it. Whoa, what the heck? What? How does that hurt you? I did not- Uh, whatever. I did not hit the ground that hard.
Okay, anything else down here? Nope, we're good. need to be on the lookout for that scorpion, or scorpion, stingray again. Okay, okay. Um, let me see, let me look at the map. Anything? Oh, there's actually some little stuff down here. Hopefully that stingray despawned or something, because I- oh gosh. something good to know that this my sonar attack is kind of like a ground pound as well. <clears throat> Wrong way. <clears throat> Please? at least two from long range to destroy those. I don't know what they are, they like, kind of remind me like Copa Pods, almost. <sighs> Anything else? Nope, okay. Okay, let's see if I can get any of those suit upgrades yet. I saw like some sparkling going off on my character. Okay. Well, it's like such a wide. Okay, it looks seems like there is something up here. too many of those, so I can't be too... I can't be risking it for the big biscuits too much. There's another one coming. Oh, 
Oh, and there's another, uh... Do I have a, another cassette tape on hand? Well, I guess we'll see. I'll admit, man, those Copa Pod things, they're kind of... They kind of freak me out a bit. It, it, come on, stay up here, please. Okay. So then that's something I should keep in mind, is um, to try to explore these higher areas as well, because there's probably, like, surprise goodies here as well. Start by trying this way. Oh, whoa. You see that up there? It's like a jellyfish, I think. Yeah, it is. Probably not something I want to be touching, if I had to take a guess. But he probably has something good hidden behind him. Yeah, okay. Sorry, jellyfish. You... Oh! Hold on. Before I kill you, senselessly, discoveries. Uh, okay, it doesn't seem like there's anything, like, really... Okay, it's probably, like, you get some special reward if you, like, find all of them or something. I'm kind of scared because, um, I know in real life, jellyfish can still sting you after they're dead. And I'm afraid of that thing still stinging me after it's dead. Oh, we're actually running low on air. Let us... Let go. Let us refill on air and then we'll continue our exploration down that way. Be close. Okay. Oh, that was close one, actually. Oh. Okay, so I need to head out for one second, but we still got like ten minutes left on this hour first hour impression, so I'm gonna be like right back in like a few minutes. So I'm gonna just pause the recording and then I'll be back. Okay, everyone, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, I had to go out, but um I'm bringing a bit hard because I'm a bit out of breath, but Let's finish up these last 10 minutes, shall we? Okay. Luckily, I still remember where we were. So, we just defeated that jellyfish thing. <sighs> you know, I'm gonna just take a breath for a second and <laughs> keep on playing. Sorry about that. You know, that thing still scares me about hurting if I make contact with it, though. Oh, there was- Oh, what the heck? Are you an enemy? Hello? Uh... I'm not... Deep sea clay. Uh, I should probably get out of here now. Yeah, I should get out of here. I should really get out of here. I should get out of here! I should get out of here! Mm. I don't care if this thing hurts me. Time to escape! Escape! Oh no, this whole thing's coming down on me, isn't it? Uh. Uh. No? Uh. Hello? My path's been blocked off. Oh, okay, good. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, uh. I didn't really I didn't realize when we were getting all Metroid in us we also include the Metroid escape sequence. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus, I just wanted to get some milk. I didn't realize it would be that bad. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh I I'm really liking this game already. It's hitting some good notes. But it's also making me a nervous wreck, but uh. 
Okay. Oh. Well, that happened. Okay. Whew. Okay. So... There's something over here that I missed, apparently. So, okay, let me get some air, and then we're gonna investigate that corner, and then we're gonna go deeper down. Come on, there we go. But well, actually, no, hold on. Let me bring up the map again. Is there anything else I can access from my new depth? Nothing that hasn't already been blocked off to me. Okay. Okay, so let's investigate this corner up here. Or, no, there's ice in the way. Unless I can hit something? No, I, it seems like it's something I'm going to access from the other side, then. Ooh, man, this thing consumes air like it's nobody's business. Does anyone want to upgrade that, um, will reduce that? Just so I know what I'm working towards. Let's see. Yeah, I think we're going to actually be saving, like, all our minerals for that, because this thing consumes air like nobody's business, really. Okay. Okay, let's keep on going down, then. your weapons, select the weapon you want to equip with R, and then release L to change weapons. Okay, so there's multiple weapons, I guess. So I have... A... Oh no, I have something infinite already? Hold on. Let me... How do you... Okay. Oh, it's kind of like a grapple beam or something. Hold on, let me see. If I were to aim it up here, actually... No. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll figure it out eventually. Okay, so let's look at the map now. I can either go... Mm, based on the depth, it seems I'm going to be going left. Harpoon can skewer certain creatures and objects. Sometimes skewering things will allow special actions or open new paths. Set tape and some more bubbles. Okay, good, good, good. And I stick the landing. Okay, let's keep on going. And oh no, it probably means I'm full on the wait. Oh, it probably means I'm full on the item. Duh. Yeah, I probably have a capacity of ten. So if I do that, yeah, okay, I'm an idiot. Okay, I understand now. Let me. Make a couple to get ahead of the curve, then. Can impale creatures towards you. Okay, I'm following you, I think. And 
object. Illuminate what? Uh, I have no idea what I just did actually. Okay. Seems like down is where a game progresses, maybe. Anything? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> oh! What's this? You found minerals that allow you to upgrade your weapons. Okay. No, that's not it. There we go. So I can increase... Power range. Increase range. I feel like I want to upgrade the harpoon thing, because, like, increased range seems pretty nice. Skewer a creature and press A to inject them with... Will glow attracting the attention. Oh, okay. I wish I told you that sooner, though. may be my go-to weapon instead because it's infinite ammo. I need more air, though. So I'll take care of those other, I guess, their predatory fish later. Later, I mean now. Ah! Ah! Canisters also repairs their health, if need be. Okay, okay. Okay, so we've... Is that another... Okay, so we've hit an hour, so we're gonna start wrapping things up now. Oh. Is it a background object? Uh, that was random. Okay. 
Okay, so, I'm gonna just leave it right here for a while. So, it seems like we've hit an hour, so I guess I'll give my hour, first hour impressions of the game. So, I'm getting very much, um, I'm getting, like, some slight Subnautica vibes. The, the vibes have kind of toned down a bit now that I see there isn't as much in-depth crafting to the game. Um, but I still get a bit of 2D Subnautica. Um, actually, what I'm getting more is Metroid-esque vibes. Kind of like Metroid, especially the 2D Metroid games, so like Metroid Fusion and Metroid Zero Mission. Right now, it seems like the game's kind of like telling its story by showing instead of telling, which is definitely welcomed. Um, it seems like it rewards ex exploration pretty well. Um, it's very good at, thus far, at giving like good rewards for your progress. Like I feel like I've made some significant progress from where I was at the beginning, just kind of like stumbling about, about instead. Um, and I definitely want to see more of this game. And so I'm probably gonna, frankly, I'm probably gonna do a playthrough of it anyway, and maybe record all the parts in advance. But um, if you all do want to see the game, definitely let me know as well. I mean, like I said, I'll probably do it anyway, but you know, it's good to hear other people who want to see the game as well. So yeah, so I'm going to end it off here, and thank you all for watching, and hope you all have a nice day, and hope you all were excited by the other things that were announced at the Nintendo Mini Direct today.